Well, I finally got round to videoing the finished beam engine, uh, having eventually painted the thing. Um, and here you can see it running probably on about 15 psi and um, with the throttle slightly closed, so it's going reasonably slowly. In the last video I talked about the pump thinking that uh, the thing I'm showing you now was the main pump that the beam engine would have been using for drawing water out of the mines. This is in fact just a small auxiliary pump and the main pump would have been driven off uh, one of the main shafts. I did find when building the, the model that there were a number of errors, quite a few errors in the drawings which really surprised me given that the model has been around for an awful long time. Uh, I, was, I expected the drawings to have been corrected at some point in the past but uh, they weren't so you do have to be pretty careful when you're building the thing. Um, one of the biggest errors I found was that the clearance on the parallel motion is inadequate and I'll show you that in a second. This is the parallel motion in action. Um, one of the difficulties I had was that the clearance here and here is inadequate if you follow the drawings and in fact they actually clash. So I simply reduced the size of the bosses on the various components just to give me that sufficient clearance. It then seems to work quite nicely. This is a close-up of the valve mechanism. The valve mechanism is quite uh, quite intricate to make. I actually adjusted the, some of the dimensions on this to make it a little easier. I think from memory I increased the size between the cylindrical area here, or the spherical area, and the flange. Otherwise there just really wasn't enough space to get the uh, various bolts in position. Um, I can speed up the machine or just slow it down or stop it completely. I think it looks much better actually when it's going nice and slow. But, uh,
if anybody's interested in, in the little box I made, it's it was some uh, off cuts of a Roco that I had for my uh, woodworking project and what I did was just make up some planks, artificial planks effectively for the top, planked the top of it and then mitre jointed the corners 